Well, we are now in April, which means that it is primary season for Pennsylvania. And believe it or not, we matter in this stage of the process. We're joined now with David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter to talk about the races. And David, is always so great to see you. Very happy to be here. Thank you for having me. So let's begin in Wisconsin, which happens before Pennsylvania's primary. And the Wisconsin primary is coming up fast. Right. The Wisconsin primary is going to set up the Pennsylvania primary. But what's happening in Wisconsin right now is you have two expresses traveling through the state of Wisconsin. You have the Clinton Express and the Trump Express. And you have Bernie Sanders and Ted Cruz on the side of the road with a bucket of nails that are going to try to throw nails into the road to slow down that express. And if that happens, then Pennsylvania is going to be a real Donnybrook. So why would you say then that Wisconsin is crucial to both parties? Well, because right now, um, Trump has to at least dominate in that state or else he's going to his campaign is going to be stopped and uh, the anti-Trump forces want a win with Ted Cruz and Sanders and Clinton that's going to be very important because if Bernie Sanders wins wins there's going to be a big double down in Pennsylvania for advertising from the Clinton campaign because Wisconsin is very similar to a state of Pennsylvania because it's you know Midwest or uh, uh, Midwest industrial the, the parties can look and see how Wisconsin voters chose and then they can decide, you know, this may be how people in Pennsylvania would decide as well. Right, and if there's an upset, uh, there's momentum coming into Pennsylvania. Absolutely. Now, you have a theory, I understand, that if Donald Trump gets the Republican nomination, that would actually help Bernie Sanders. That would help Bernie Sanders immensely. And the reason for that is because Donald Trump has very high unfavorability ratings, and so, so does Hillary Clinton. Bernie Sanders, even though he is a self-proclaimed democratic socialist, people like him. And I think with Trump's high negatives, especially with women, with all the groups that he's alienated, Sanders could be probably a alternative candidate if something happens to the Clinton campaign along the way. Trump's mistakes kind of makes Bernie more palatable. Interesting. And now with the Ted Cruz, Ted Cruz, Donald Trump war of words about their wives, what's your take on this? Ridiculous. <laughs> have you ever seen the Three Stooges movie where you have <laughs> Curly and Larry in on the ends and Mo in the middle? We need a Mo in the middle to knock the heads together and say knuckleheads. First off, Cruz should not have really, oh, Cruz, Cruz should have defended his wife, but he missed a perfect opportunity going back and forth about the wives because Donald Trump during the same week gave an awful editorial board interview with the Washington Post. He was found wanting in a lot of the issues, and if I were the Cruz campaign, I would have pounced on that. Basically, um, they were calling names back and forth together. They were defending each other's wives, so that's good, but it wasn't substantive, and that's not good politics. Well, it'll be certainly interesting to see as this race continues. I'm sure we'll be pulling you back in to help detangle everything that's going on. David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. Where can we get more information? www.blogspot.lulacpolitical Letter.com. Or you could Google Lulac, Polo Lulac Political Letter.com. I've been doing it for 10 years and I have the tongues twisting. I love it. All right, David, as always, thanks for being here. Happy to be here. Thanks a lot.